All right, I figured I'd share my uh, DR backhoe. It's a nice little unit. Um, I did some things to make it work for me. First thing I did was built some back tires. They slip in just the same as the original kickstands. Um, once I did that, as I moved around, I had a problem with oil coming out the vent. So I built a, I'm going to call it a burp tank. I keep just a small amount of oil so that the outlet or inlet to the tank is never below the level. And it keeps the lower tank completely full of oil, but no oil ever exits out the vent. I also added hubs to the front end so that I could use golf cart tires. Those are actually golf cart hubs off the front of a, I believe, an Easy Go. These tires are rubber filled. They're very heavy. Uh, so they're kind of like solid tires. I don't have to ever worry about punctures or flats. The same with the ones back there. Uh, the extra weight's needed back there. If you didn't have the extra weight when you were on the front axle, the backhoe would want to tip forward. Um, another thing that I did was this front link on the bucket was pointed so that the grease fitting was facing outwards. I flipped it so that they face inwards. It's a little harder to grease, but I don't have the grease fittings getting packed with dirt and roots, other debris. Makes it a lot easier to, to grease and maintain the unit. I have had some troubles with the hydraulic hoses, finding a, a good routing so that there's no chafing. Uh, did add some protection to the hoses. This is in, in particular, these hoses back here like to bind up against the back side of the metal. Uh, the metal was sharp. I filed it with a rolled edge so that it wouldn't cut up into the unit no more. Also added a large equipment back seat or seat. It's got suspension. It's weight adjustable. lumbar adjustments and back and forth uh, that larger seat does not give you much room to get on it also doesn't give you much room back here by the engine so I had to build a little heat shield just to keep the exhaust heat from heating up the vinyl and that's just mounted with a angle angle iron bracket underneath I did add a throttle to it because once you have the larger seat you can't reach the throttle. Now there's some things on this DR backhoe that I think that DR should have done differently. The outlet to the tank should be centered in the tank, not all the way forward. So if you lift up the front end very high, you no longer have a good supply of oil to the pump. I don't have that problem with the burp tank because it doesn't allow air to ever get into the lower tank. Another thing with the way that the engine faces, all the heat from the fins in the engine are blown onto your legs. It's uh, not bad in the winter. The summertime, you don't want any extra heat. So I'll go around and let's see see my burp tank it's just used material that I acquired I used the light kit u-bolts and clamped it in place it is very sturdy nothing moves on it at all
I did use malleable iron fittings to make my threaded connection. I did have a little trouble getting that bottom one to seal. We ended up TIG welding it with stainless to get the final seal on that. But other than that, it turned out great. No complaints. And it's a good thing that the tires are filled up because tires are in rough shape. All right, that's my little backhoe. Again, I love it, it works great. There are some stumps back there I dug out yesterday. And I've got a couple of bigger ones to go. I might try to make a video on these. It does take quite a while, but these are pretty good sized stumps. So, see, at least 12 inches in diameter, three and a half foot tall. Alright, thank you very much. Have a great day.